Sai Ram, pranams to everyone. We are now at Dyokhar in Jharkhand state. Baba Baidyanath temple is here and this is the ninth of the twelve Jyotirlingas. Lord Shiva manifests as Jyoti or light at such places. There are twelve Jyotirlingas and this is the ninth of the twelve Jyotirlingas. Baba Baidyanath temple is in the state of Jharkhand. In addition, this is also a Shakti Pitha. You might recall that after Daksha Yagna, different body parts of Shakti Devi fell at different places and those places are now called Shakti Pithas and there are 51 such Shakti Pithas. At this place, the heart of Shakti fell. So this place is of significance to both Shiva and Shakti Devi. River Ganga is about 100 kilometers from here. Bhaktas get Ganga Jal or Ganga water in Kavars and perform a Bisheka to the Shivalinga with their own hands. Bhaktas walk the entire stretch of 100 kilometers chanting Bambam Bhole all the way. This place is really very nice. There are actually 21 temples around here. There are different deities in all these temples. And some of the deities are Kali Mata, Lakshmi Mata, God Narsima, Kala Bhairava, Ganpati and other deities as well. You can see that the Vimanas or Gopuras of the temples of Shakti and Shiva are joined through ropes. The ropes are red in color. This shows the identity and equality of Shakti and Shiva and connection between them. The one on the left is Shakti temple and the one on the right is the temple of Baba Baidyanath. The Gopuras are connected using ropes. The temple in red color is Kali temple. There are 21 temples here in total. What is the Sthala Purana or origin of this place? It is very very interesting. We all know that Ravana is a staunch bhakta of Lord Shiva. Once he does intense tapasya towards Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva does not appear for a long time. In despair, Ravana starts offering his head to the sacrificial fire. We know that Ravana has ten heads. He cuts them off one by one and offers to the fire. After nine heads are offered, when Ravana is ready to cut off his last head and offer to the fire, Lord Shiva manifests before him. Lord Shiva blesses him and makes him whole by attaching the heads that were offered to the fire. Since Lord Shiva acted as a Vaidya or doctor, the Lord is called Vaidyanath here. In addition, Lord Shiva gives his Atmalinga to Ravana. Having been blessed thus, Ravana starts his journey back to Lanka to install Atmalinga at Lanka. The condition is that once installed, the Linga will stay there forever. No one can take it elsewhere. Worried that Ramana will do Pratishtha or installation of Atma Linga at Lanka, Devas or Gods approach Lord Vishnu and tell him that Lord Shiva has given his Atma Linga to Ravana and he is taking it to Lanka. He will become unconquerable if he installs it in the Lanka and request Lord Vishnu to intervene. Now it becomes evening and it is time to offer evening prayers or Sayam Sandhya. Ravana is wondering what to do. Seizing the opportunity, Lord Vishnu appears before him as a small boy. Ravana asks the boy to hold the linga till he completes the prayers. The boy accepts the request and says that if he feels tired, he will call Ravana thrice. And if he doesn't come and take the linga, he'll keep it right there. Ravana agrees, gives Atma linga to the boy and goes to perform Sandhya. When Ravana is in the midst of his rituals, the boy calls out his name thrice and keeps the linga on the ground as Ravana does not come. The linga merges with the ground and becomes close to the ground level. Ravana comes back and tries to lift it up with all its might, but he is not able to lift the linga up. 
Disappointed, he goes back to Lanka after doing namaskaras to the linga. After several years, he comes back to worship the linga. As the place has dense forest, he finds the linga with great difficulty. He finds that a hunter with name Baiju is worshipping the linga and doing abhishekas. The hunter brings Gangajal from a distance of 100 kilometers and does abhisheka with Gangajal and offers prayers. Ravana is totally surprised by the devotion of this hunter. The hunter requests Ravana to create a water body as there is no water nearby to perform abhisheka. Ravana creates a water body there. Because of the devotion of Baiju, the Lord is called Bajanath. To commemorate this, Bhaktas go all the way to Ganga River by walking for 100 kilometers and carry the water. Devotees perform Abhisheka to the Linga with their own hands, as we can see in the video. The Linga is the Atma Linga of Lord Shiva. Bhaktas are performing Abhisheka. People here use Ba for Va. Instead of Vaidyanath, the god is called Baidyanath here. There are other special aspects. As mentioned earlier, there are 21 temples at this complex. The Gopuras or Vimanas are in Buddhist style. And this is one of the 51 Shakti Pithas and Devi's heart fell here. Also, 9th of 12 Jyotir Lingas. So, this is a Sthala for both Shakti and Shiva. In addition, at the Shakti temple, they do Aarti every night after sunset. This is very nice. This is just like Ganga Aarti. The Shakti temple is right opposite to Baba Baidyanath temple and the Gopuras of the temple are connected by ropes. The Aarti for Lord Shiva takes place from the Devi temple. And one last thing, in the month of Shravan, there are special celebrations associated with Kavad Yatra. In 2019, 45 lakh bhaktas did pilgrimage to this place and took darshan. We had come here in the night. We could do a bisheka to the linga here. As you can see, the linga is at the ground level. One can take video in the Garbhagraha. We are now seeing the Arati. This is Devi temple, opposite to Shiva temple. They blow Shankha or conch shells and then perform Aarti towards Lord Shiva. The temple gets crowded in the morning and noon. Please come in the evening and you can take darshan in a leisurely manner. Please do come here and take darshan of the Lord. This is the ninth of the twelve Jyotilingas. We'll see you in the next Leela. Thank you for watching. Om Sai Ram. I'm not going to